Cutter and JJ are former friends turned bitter rivals on the Ascar circuit, which is, as you may have guessed, a really crappy knockoff of NASCAR. Just like the real life NASCAR, Ascar is all about good old boys comparing dick size by driving in circles talking shit about their opponents. Ah! You see that? Danica Patrick tried to get in my way! That pissed me off! That fucking day in hell! Uh oh, this ain't good. Now, in Ascar, when you crash, the audience has to watch it in shitty CGI. Totally takes all the drama out of it. Years later, JJ is still racked with guilt over the accident which he believes was his fault. He's given up on his racing career and now he just drives transport trucks for the various racing teams. He pays a visit to his old buddy Cliff who just happens to be the dead guy's brother. After he gets a few drinks in, Cliff decides to show JJ a little project he's been working on. For whatever reason, Cliff has procured and restored Cutter's death car. He also let slip that that fateful crash happened because Cutter's team had sabotaged JJ's car. After getting some seriously creepy vibes, JJ says, yeah, time to get out of here. While Cliff decides to get totally shit-faced, which is never a good idea if you're a character in any horror movie, let alone a bad one. I should have buried you a long time ago. I'm gonna turn your guts out. And then I'm gonna crush you. You were supposed to install wiper blades, not razor blades. For me, the biggest issue with this movie is the fact that the plot plays all its cards in the first act. I'm not even through my first beer before I know who's powering this car and what his motivations are. So the only mystery here is why Cutter's ghost has it in for JJ when the fatal accident never would have occurred if he hadn't monkey wrenched JJ's car. As far as I'm concerned, this just proves that even in death, Cutter is a fucking moron. They do make an attempt at a subplot wherein JJ finds out this juvenile delinquent is his daughter, she finds out he's her father, but there's no chemistry between the two characters, and by this point in the movie, the audience is probably asleep anyway. Wakey wakey, bitches! In true movie cop form, the country bumpkin sheriff decides he'd like to pin Lightning McQueen's little escapade on JJ, despite having evidence to the contrary. Looks like we got ourselves another moron here. Would you please kill him? Thank you. Completely random gas station scene, because you know you gotta pay homage to movies that are way better than this one, don't you? Well, no cliff diving to finish this one off, however, we do get a pretty good coordinated fake out. 
and a very Christine style send off for the car. But where would we be without the ubiquitous open ending? Boogity boogity boogity! <laughs>